But I, I'm gonna get straight to the point. Uh, I realize getting older, I really don't like people. <laughs> I really, I mean, I, I mean, I like people, but I just don't like what people say. Okay. Like, so we was at talking at school, me and a bunch of teachers talking about eating healthy, getting right, and then. The other teacher, he jumps in the uh, conversation. I'm like, why are you in this conversation anyway, right? So we're talking about getting healthy, and uh, I'm telling him, you know what? I want to become a pescatarian. And he said, man, that's crazy, because my grandmother brought me up in that church. <laughs> <laughs> that's Presbyterian, you know what I mean? Get out of here. Um, and then I also noticed that we can't really say everything to kids. Like, we're in a PC culture, right? So we can't, like, this kid named Ricky, he's, he, I can't call him fat because his parents will get mad at me. I can't call him obese. That, that's just not right. So we're going to say this guy is well fit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so every time we go out, out for lunch, he's always grabbing a snack in his um, uh, right hand, right? He's always grabbing a snack. Uh, whether it's fruit or whether it's a Twinkie, whatever. I'm like, Johnny, why? I mean, Ricky, why are you grabbing these snacks with your right hand? Uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm on my snack before recess. I said, okay, cool. But I said, you know, Johnny, you got to start to eat right, okay? You got to start to eat right. You got to leave these Twinkies and stuff alone, right? So he got huffy and puffy with me. So for the, next, for the last two weeks, he's been sitting on the right side of the classroom with the girls. So I said, Ricky, you know you're supposed to be sitting on the left side with the boys. He was like, well, Mr. Ferguson, you told me to eat right. So he started to eat on the right side of the classroom. Uh -oh. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate that. Um, and then I realized, like, after 20 years, my wife said weird things. Like, we recently went to a funeral. She was like, oh, he looks like himself. Are we at the right funeral? <laughs> Oh, he looks so peaceful. Do you want him to look surprised? Like, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, and then, like, I hate when people say weird things to me. Like, the other day, I was like, I told this guy when he came in the building, I said, hey, how you doing? I'm doing all right. If that's taking it one day at a time, because two will be too many. <laughs> that's the only way you can take it one day at a time, right? And then he's like, uh, he always comes with these sayings like, I'm, I'm on the right side of the grass. Like, these are depressing sayings. Like, why do you keep saying these depressing sayings? And then the other day, he told me, he's like, it's good to be seen. Uh, yes, that's great if you're not blind. You know what I mean? You're offending a lot of people right now. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me get ready to get out of here. Um, my name is Ferg Ferguson. I do have a show on Sunday at Kazi's, that comedy show. It's full of a whole bunch of surprises will come out. Also, continue to support the venue. I know George is going to be gone, but I appreciate you. Everything you've done, you've always given me your all, no matter what kind of day you have. I, I've been coming here for 10 years plus, and you, you've you been that guy, so I appreciate you, man. All right. Give it up for George, y'all. Uh. Give me one more round of applause for Ferg Ferguson.